hello guys welcome my another video tutorial in this video I'm gonna teach you stored procedure I will teach you how you can create a stored procedure how you can use stored procedure to update the record delete the record view the record and also delete the stored procedure so I'm using SQL Server 2016 and this is my database name tutorial so I wanna create a stored procedure so we need to create a table then we will be able to create a stored procedure so let's get started to create a table I'll write a comment create table and I use create keyword table table name is employee and parenthesis and then I use basically first column name is employee ID integer primary key identity and I use one by one then second column name is implied name and type virtual and I use range of the column 50 then I use imply designation right and type virtual range 50 now I select the query and run the query then we have successfully made the table and we need to insert the record in the table I use insert into imply values parentheses and I use the first name is for example I write OSIF and designation I use programmer select run and I enter another name armor student run the query now I will make a I mean store the another record me set the law and computer operator select query run the query and then I finally insert record some me and then I use basically student the designation of the implies okay now I use select statement to display the record now we have made the table with the name of imply and we have inserted the record in the imply table for like one two three four the name of the implies and designation so I want to create a stored procedure so we need to make a stored procedure uh, using create keyword and then use create procedure or route proc you can write any name as you like this is the basically keyword I write procedure and enter the procedure name I write this procedure name uh, insert record this is the my stored procedure name and use parenthesis in this parenthesis you need to pass the without this column you need to pass the two columns parameters or you can pass the parameter just write the arrow right sign and enter the any name as you like I write the EMP name and you need to write the same data type the second column data type is virtual so I write the virtual okay now enter the range of the column then I use another uh, I mean uh, column name imply designation you can write at the right sign and enter the any other name you can write any name as you like okay I'll write EMP design and type virtual we don't need to write the first column name because the first column name have a primary key identity it will automatically generate the numbers we don't need to insert the record with the help of primary key identity okay we just write the second column name and third column name then we will be able to see the record will store in our table right so I have passed the two parameters after the parenthesis you need to write as begin and end 
between begin and end you need to write the query the query is I'm gonna insert the record in the table using store procedure so I just write the query insert into the table name the table name is employee and I use values right then I use values parentheses in this parentheses I pass the parameter like this copy it paste comma and second column name paste that's it select the store procedure query and on the query now we have successfully met the store procedure now I will insert the record in the table using store procedure so what I can do guys you just write execute R E X E C you can write any name as like any keyword then enter the store procedure name the store procedure name is store record then I use space then you are able to see the type of the column and column name it will appear on my screen so I use for example camera and I use comma then we will jump another column the another column name is EMP designation I write the uh, designation is web developer then I select the query and run the query then we have successfully stored the record in the table using stored procedure I use select statement employee now guys you can see here our record has been stored in the database using stored procedure right guys and this is a stored procedure stored procedure create now I will tell you another way to uh, perform the different task like alter the stored procedure or update the stored procedure I wanna I mean change the type of the basically stored procedure so we need to use alter keyword here yeah, this is a basically create a keyword I wanna change the stored procedure type or query so you need to write the alter keyword and then use same keyword procedure and enter the any name is like I use the change proc parenthesis as began and in this parenthesis you need to write the same column name and you can change the data type as you like and also you can write any other query as you like for example I copy the two columns and paste here then I type the I mean change the type of the first column name and virtual and second and virtual don't worry those basically what char and n what char will store the string type values so you can write uh, I mean uh, any type of the uh, I mean column values will store you can write any type of the data type okay now begin and end between begin and end you can write any query for example I write same query insert into the record and select the uh, alter procedure and execute invalid okay what's problem now guys just a minute mm. alter procedure okay, it's just a minute guys uh, alter proc as beginning that's working fine but why mm, I enter another name apply mm, alter proc okay I select the query and on the query now just a minute guys sorry guys I basically wanna uh, alter the I mean change the procedure so we need to write the same procedure name so I copy the procedure name and paste here I change the type of the 
columns and I select the query and run the query now guys you can see here this is my problem okay now we will be able to use nvrchar data type which will store the data in the columns okay now the third thing is I'm gonna update the record using the stored procedure so I just write the same process to create a basically procedure procedure update record parenthesis as begin and end in this parenthesis you need to pass the whole columns why because we need to update the record using uh, your primary key identity column name like imply ID this column okay so we need to pass three column parameters so I just write the error is fine ID and type integer because the first column name type is integer so we need to pass the integer right comma and I use another column name EMP name watcher under the range EMP apply designation watcher and then you need to write the update query between the begin and end okay so the query is update keyword and table name the table name is imply and then you need to write the set keyword then you need to call the table column name the first column name is the second column name is imply name copy it and paste here and then you then you need to write the equal sign and assign the this stored procedure parameter right and then you need to write comma and third column name the, the third column name is imply designation copy it and paste here and then uh, copy the third parameter and use equal sign and paste then you need to write the where keyword I use where keyword and then I use the first column name the employee ID copy it and paste here and then you need to write the actual sign and pass the first parameter like this that's it now we have successfully made the update stored procedure execute now as you can see here now I am going to update the record using stored procedure so you need to write execute and call the update record this is your stored procedure name and then you need to write the ID name which will I mean that will uh, update I mean uh, you can uh, enter the ID name then you will be able to update the record using ID okay so I use the first ID and I change the us enter the name as, as a programmer and I use the for example I use the software as if software engineer okay now that's it select the query and run the query now guys we have successfully update the record using stored procedure I use select a statement and then you are able to see the apply designation I mean first column ID as if and the designation has been changed now the final step is I'm gonna delete the record using stored procedure so I just write the same process just uh, change the query right so guys I just write this create a keyword and procedure this is another keyword and enter the procedure name delete record parenthesis as began and in this parenthesis you need to pass one parameter and type of the column or parameter is integer because the first column name is table first column name is I mean integer so we need to pass I mean match the record using employee ID so I just write at the right employee ID that's it and in this 
section I will write the query delete apply delete um, I mean delete from imply where our table column name our table column name is imply ID and I use a kill sign and pass this parameter okay that's it select the query and run the query okay guys what is problem now okay yeah guys we need to write the type of the column okay now we have successfully made the delete procedure okay so I just write the execute procedure name I will delete the record one so I just write the one number and select the stored procedure query and run the query now I use select a statement guys you can see here no record available in the database with the number of one now guys you can see here right we have used stored procedure to insert the record update the record and delete the record okay now finally I wanna delete the stored procedure so what I can do guys guys the first step is you need to write the drop keyword and enter the procedure keyword and enter the procedure name as you want to delete okay so I wanna delete the stored procedure like delete so I select the stored procedure name delete record select the query and run the query now we have successfully deleted the stored procedure with the name of delete record okay now I select I mean I use execute command to delete the another record I can't do that okay now guys you can see I could not find the stored procedure with the name of delete record I hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel for getting updates. Have a nice day.